this is the soundtrack to my life. The soundtrack to my life. Music gives me personal freedom because it just allows me to be myself and not care what anyone thinks about it. Like, every day when we leave the honors house to go to our business class, I'm always the first one in with my iPod singing and jamming. I'll, I'll sing some Justin Bieber and some whoever comes on my iPod. And it just, whenever I sing it to everybody, it just lets me be free because I can sing it and I can be goofy. Music gives me the personal freedom to express my dark side without the fear of being judged or persecuted. I think in the way that it allows me to channel what my emotions, what my feelings, both conscious and subconscious are, that I can just turn on any song or turn on any artist and I've got something that sort of coalesces with my life and that just allows me to break through in the way of what my words or my thoughts cannot describe. It's an active form of freedom, whereas, you know, other art forms where, you know, you're you're doing, you know, visual art or something where you do it and you're done and people interpret it or whatever, or when you're in a musical or something and you're so stuck to the script or something. But when when you do music, you it's an active thing where as you're going you can change what you're doing. I know like if I've had troubles with friends and stuff or like family issues, I've listened to music. If you wanna cry, I listen to like sad stuff because it makes me wanna cry even more. And I think it helps you like get all your emotions out and feel better. When I was younger, well, when I was fourteen going into high school, my dad passed away. And so I started listening to the Rolling Stones specifically because I was their favorite band. And I really like the song, uh, You Can't Make It What You Want, because of how I was feeling at the time, and it, it really, it like, really helped me realize that it wasn't just me, and that, you know, like, it really felt a lot of the people in the Rolling Stones felt the way I did, you know, at some time in their life, so, it helped me through that time. When I was, um, in sixth grade, we ended up having to live in a homeless shelter, and I had no other way to escape because it was four people in one room and we had to share this tiny bathroom. So instead of just dwelling on it, I would listen to music and be able to escape and not think about how crappy my life is and just the good aspects. I, I ran cross country for five years, so running eight miles at a time really got boring. So whenever I ran with my music in, it just seemed like my mind floated away from the course and I'm looking in front of me and it just made me pass the time so much faster. And like I was on another level and that's how it made me feel free. Your parents are fighting or my friends are fighting, you know. You don't have to listen to it, you can just put in your iPod and just drown them out. You think of the Red Hot Chili Peppers because they're probably my favorite band and the song Under the Bridge, which is really popular, is a song that the lead singer Anthony Kiedis made because he just got into his addiction to heroin. So he got the freedom to him. And he's called Under the Bridge to make that pass, the part of the water under the bridge. So I, don't know, I think that's actually directly good to freedom. Well, I like the genre of rock music because I just feel like they don't really, like any topics available, like they just say what they want. I don't really have any rules or anything. Because I listen to so much music and I listen to so much random stuff, I don't think I can pinpoint just one artist or one genre. I think that what makes it better is that I listen to eclectic and like a bunch of different random music. So that's what suits me and that's what makes me feel free. I've always liked Amazing Grace. I've always liked that song. I've, I've come to church my whole life, grew up in church and all that stuff. And, but that one's always been important because it it always says, you know, everything that we've done and everything we're going to do, it matters, but it doesn't at the same time because God's going to forgive you and you keep on and, you know, you keep on with your life and He forgives you and He still loves you and you just keep on keeping on.